It's time for love readings. You're going to get the most out of this love reading if you watch it for your moon sign. This video right here, if you haven't seen it, will tell you why. There's a link in the description box below so you can go right to that to find out why. Um, but regardless of whether you're watching this for your moon sign, which you should be, um, or, or not, whatever, um, I just want to tell you what we are covering today. What do you need to let go of? Um, what what are you attracting this month in regards to love? What's out of your control? And then what act, what do you need to take action on? We're going to look at singles, couples, and then it's complicated situations. So that could be polyamorous. Maybe um, you're talking to each other, but it's not Facebook official yet. On again, off again, whatever that is. I'm going to do singles first, then couples, and then it's complicated last. The reason being because sometimes when it's complicated, pieces of the single reading and the couple's reading will resonate hard for you and you might wanna go and watch those pieces as well, okay? Um, I think I already said, but this reading is from now until June 15th. Um, and the reason why I go half month to half month is because I put out the general readings at the beginning of every month and then money readings um, also right after that. So let's get started. Oh, I'm using the Gilded Tarot deck today. If you're wondering what that's about, there is a link in the description box below if you wanna purchase one. I don't sell them, but um, if you get it through the affiliate link, I might get like two or three cents from that and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So you're just helping a sister out to keep making these videos. Taurus Singles. What do you need to let go of in order to welcome love into your life? Um, you know, I guess the idea that everything is fine the way that it is right now, um, that maybe you don't want a commitment. Okay, so are you lying to yourself a little bit that you don't want a committed relationship? Because I guess then why are you watching this, you know, otherwise, if that's you? Um, or are you lying to yourself because you're afraid that you're not going to get what you want, so somehow you're going to be less disappointed if you don't? Get it? Um, that's something to let go of. They're like, sure, it might take some time to find the right person, to find the right relationship, but time passes whether we look for it or we don't, right? So what are you attracting right now into your life? Um, you're attracting strength. You're um, attracting happiness and joy, whether that comes from within or if you're going to find that in a relationship too, like somebody who's strong, who's reliable, but also brings joy into a relationship. What's out of your control in your love life? Um, that there's not a lot of fun to be had right now. Maybe because of coronavirus, you can't go places, you can't do fun things, um, you know, or maybe you're just not attracting people who um, are like very sexually appealing to you, or maybe you can't actually meet up with them for a sexual romp right now, you know, stuff like that. Um, what is it that you can take action on? And they say that idea that like maybe you're not able to find a stable, healthy relationship that is reliable, but make that your focus. Make sure that that's something that you're purposefully manifesting into your life. Um, somebody who sticks around and um, be open to relationships. Don't be pushing them away because you're afraid of them, okay? So for those of you who are coupled Tauruses, um, so what, sometimes in relationships, we decide not to say things, um, that maybe need to be said just to try to keep the peace, but it's not really keeping the peace because things are brewing underneath the surface, um, for you. And so it is time maybe to just, um, stand there and say, Hey, this is what's bugging me. You know, sure, you can say it in a really loving way, but you have to be firm and um, get it out there. Here's the thing. You're going to feel much better when you do. It's like I said, there's a lot of like emotional stuff um, that could be potentially rocking this boat that you're in. OK, you have all of this thought, all of these thoughts, and maybe you're not expressing them to your partner. And um, what's going to happen, unfortunately, is the boat is going to tip over. OK, and then you're just going to like dump all of this on your partner and that's not going to be comfortable for anybody. OK, so um, whatever it is that you need to say, while you still can control that, while you can still navigate your ship and do it in a peaceful and, and calm way, you really need to do it. Um, 
What are you attra attracting into your relationship right now? Um, sex, passion, joy. Um, but aside from that, really not much else. <laughs> so anything you, else that you want, you might want to start working on um, kind of advocating for that or at least identifying what else it is that you want in your relationship so you can bring more of that in here. So what's outside of your control? Um, the decisions that your partner is making. So what is it that you need to make take action on? And they're like, okay, so seeds that are never planted won't ever grow no matter how much sunlight they get no much no matter how much water is poured like if they were never put in the ground they're never going to grow and so that's why these conversations with your partner is are really important you need to talk about you know what it is that you want you need to talk about what it is that they're doing that's driving you nuts um you have to like get this emotional stuff out in order to achieve what it is that you want for your relationship so for those of you in complicated situations, they're saying your intuition's off a little bit. Um, like you're strong and you have tact, but like your intuition isn't connecting. So those gut feelings that you're having um, are maybe not gut feelings, they might be fears, okay? So what is it that you need to let go of this month? And they're saying um, the idea that you're not lovable or people don't like you or um, that, you know, things like that. So what is it that you're attracting into your life right now? And what they're saying is like slowness. Slow and steady wins the race, okay? So the um, relationships should be moving slower. You should be taking your time to make decisions and so should the people in your life, okay? Um, you're attracting this slowness because you kind of need this time and space to determine what is a fear versus um, you know what is reality okay you've got to work through that so what's outside of your control uh the fact that people aren't forthcoming with you that they're not always honest okay it's not our fault that other people lie to us and so that kind of brings us back to where we started where it's like oh well maybe so and so is lying to me because they think i'm stupid no they're lying to you because they're a fucking liar it's not because you did anything or because you're not worthy of hearing the truth um, okay, so people are, and sometimes, you know what, honestly, people don't always know what they think or how they feel, and so they can't tell you. Um, but it has nothing to do with your worth, so that's important to know. So what is it that you need to take action on in your love life this month? And they're like figuring out how you really feel, okay? And what you own, and what is somebody else's shit, okay? So that is your month, and I love you so much. Mm -hmm.